everybody. We are at the opening of the Food and Wine Festival 2024 at Epcot. There's the beautiful signage. Got our map. Yep, so we just picked up our passport. That's going to give us all the info as to where the booths are, what booths are open right now, and what there is to grab to eat and drink. Yeah, so we're here. It's about 1130. Uh, and yeah, we'll have a good six, seven hours here and hopefully uh, show you a lot of the food and merch. Yep. Um, and everything. Yep, so come along with us. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. It's free. Okay, we may have our first sale already. It's Flavors from Fire right by Test Track. Look at this. Steakhouse blended burger. That looks actually really good. Andrea would like to try the smoked corned beef. And then they have a black butt porter. Look at our little spread here. That looks fantastic. So, yeah, we got the corned beef. And it's got little home-style chips. That looks really good. Now the Steakhouse Burger. I mean, it's got one potato chip on it. That looks and smells fantastic. Got a little dark porter and water. So let's go try all this out and we'll let you know. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go in for a little bite here, have a fork. Let me try this first. Corned beef. That might be the better way with the chip. Okay, it looks like it has a little onion. Yeah, it is very flavorful. All right, let's try it with the chip. I like to have it shredded. So, because sometimes there's fatty parts in a corned beef, but with it shredded, I'm not really getting that, so. That's very good. Mm. It's got these pickled onions on there, too. Very lovely. All right, I'm going to go in a bite of this burger. It's got a chip on there. Yeah, chip. Looks really, really good. Oh, man. So it's a blend of meats, It's a, but that's really good. Super flavorful. You get a crunch of that chip right off the bat. That's delicious. So our first booth is gonna get like very high marks. I mean I wouldn't I wouldn't skip on this. And it's right next to the booth that has the fry flights, but the line you can see behind us is huge for yeah. the fry flights. So we may be coming back. Look at that line. Yeah, that just goes on and on. But we do love the fry flight. What did you think of the beer then? So the beer is my kind of beer. You know I like the dark beers, the stouts, the porters, this. I mean, I'm not sure what notes I'm getting. I'll have to read the description. Something like caramel or sh like brown sugar or... I don't know, did I get anything? It doesn't say on here. Oh, it doesn't say? Mm -mm. It just said it's, by, it's in Bend, Oregon. But yeah, this is really, really good. Uh, highly recommend. All right, All one, right. We are one for one. We are one for one. Woo. So yeah, the fry flight this year. Yeah, it looks like this time they're having barbecue bacon fries. That looks really good. Uh, sweet potato casserole, truffle parmesan fries. So I don't think we'll be having this today, but we've had it in the past and it is excellent. So. Just a really, really big line. All right, here's the location of the place we just tried, Flavors from Fire, right outside of Creations. And here's where all the magic is happening. Fantastic burgers right there. We do have our second sale here, Canada. We're just trying the cheddar cheese bacon soup. We've actually tried the filet mignon before. It's very good, but we're saving a little room for other stuff. And then there we go. I am getting a little Cabernet Sauvignon. There's Andrea. Really big line here. It's like, oh my God. Okay, here we are, our little spread here. It's a pretzel and then the cheddar bacon soup. So that looks good. Got a little cab to go with it. And as they do wine in Canada, it's chilled. 
it. All right, let's give this a go. The soup is good. Pretzel could be like hot, maybe. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's like pretzel needs to be warm. Yeah, but it really doesn't taste like a pretzel. Like it looks like one, but since there's no salt, but the soup is good, and that's actually what we're here for. So yeah. Even though it's such a nice hot day, <laughs> but yeah, I'm not sure. So I'm not sure I would recommend this one. It might be a little miss. So the weather did look a little dicey. <laughs> we ended up putting the slickers on and then it rained for like all of like ten, two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> but it is food and wine festival. I actually have wine. And so, food. And food. So now we may just go back and see. Uh, I think we're wanting today what Belgium and oh, possibly yeah. Greece Belgium's look good. Got the waffles with the either chocolate or the berry compote. We'll probably go with the chocolate. Yeah. Okay, so our next sale is Belgium. We have the chocolate Belgian waffle, which is all right. That's got to be good. It, it is so soft, too. All right. Oh yeah. Are we starting with dessert? Yeah. <laughs> so as Andy said, we went the uh, chocolate. And they don't do a short of whipped cream on there. So there's been years past where the waffle was like too hard, but this is awesome. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, try the stew. We always like the sauce. Beer braised little carrots. Another toasty item on a nice oh, yeah. hot day. And it has your mashed potatoes on the bottom. Yeah, this one never disappoints. They always have really good mashed potatoes. All right, beer flight. I think this is a cherry beer. Very stewy. Mm. Nothing really on, on any of Wow. Quite like this. It almost tastes like a cherry champagne. But both of these food items, the waffle, and we have had the uh, berry compote one before, and that is also very good. It's the same thing, it just says berries, and then the beef stew and mashed potatoes is lovely. All right, this is more traditional beer. Nice amber color. Yeah, I like that one. And we're right across the Belgium stand. We're right across. And it's right over there. It doesn't have a whole huge line of people. Usually there's a giant line for Belgium. Yeah, so the beer flight, definitely the cherry is the winner. And then second place is the amber. Um, not huge on beers of this color it's okay but yeah there you go so Belgium we always recommend all right look at flavors of America this year they have a bunch of different style hot dogs New York style sauerkraut Chicago style my favorite or a chili dog Carolina style Southwest style dog Andrew is thinking about that chocolate pudding though I am seriously thinking about the, I don't know, torn between Chicago style or Carolina style. I don't know which, but this looks very good. So this is our next sale. I'm kind of surprised by the Chicago style dog. It's a full size dog. The picture kind of looked like a half, half dog. But yeah, that looks legit. So we're going to be trying that. Looks lovely. I like the color of the relish. Andrea is going in. What's the flavor on that? Just it's chocolate with caramel, um, like a bourbon caramel, a and bourbon. it's very dense. And yeah, but it looks like it doesn't look dry. So I almost thought it was like a lava cake. But I thought it, it, no. I thought it was too. Yeah, 
Yeah. You really get the bourbon flavor. It's a very good cake. It's warm and it's a little moist. Ooh. But it's got the crispiness on the outside. So. so is the best part the cake or the icing? I think it's the cake because since the icing has like a bourbon flavor, I'm not big on bourbon, but it All goes right. with it. But the cake to me is the best part. I'll look forward to trying that. All right, so like I said, full size Chicago style. I'm not sure how I'm going to eat this. Nailed it. <laughs> Let me go side. I do love a good Chicago style. This is a really good Chicago style. Uh, I dropped a little pepper, unfortunately, but uh, the relish is good. The hot dog is good. It's got the little poppy scene. Yeah, this is a good hot dog. It looks and extremely have, colorful. And they have three more styles. So you could try chili dog, what was the other Southwest, all kinds of things. So. All right, very good. Hot pepper. And if you could see that, they do change out the little flags in the town to the food and wine festival flags. It's the details. Okay, we did see about this uh, earlier ahead of time, PB and J Latte, and we found the place right here. So I think we're gonna try it. Look at that. Okay, Andrea has the PB and J latte. She's trying it for the first time. Definitely get peanut butter. Oh, there's the jelly. So the peanut butter and then the after taste is jelly. Uh, Joffrey's, as you can see. So that's where we got that from. Uh, we were wanting to try this with the peanut butter and jelly wings, but it's way over there. We're here and it's nice and refreshing so yeah i will say we've been having trouble finding mocktails so let us know if you come to the festival what you find for mocktail because we're having not so good at luck yeah andrew was just wanting something like as a nice slushy like a watermelon slushy we've seen in the past or just but something refreshing and yeah. i can't find anything that seems very refreshing. So instead, we'll caffeinate ourselves back up and have a little PB&J. And we were a little short on coffee this morning, so mm. get a little extra caffeine there. Yep. All right, here, I'll give that a go. Oh. That's, it's good. I am tasting coffee more than the peanut butter or the jelly. So the peanut butter and jelly are kind of subtle. But still pretty good. So onward. PB and J. Yeah, and it's a pretty busy opening day. There's been plenty of people. Weather has been good. Very very hot. But we're kind of used to the heat now. But actually, a lot of the lines haven't been as long as we've seen them before. So even though it seems busy, I don't think it's overly crowded. All right, we are at La Cava, and Andrea heard it is their 15th? 15th anniversary here at La Cava. 15th anniversary, but it is very nice and cool in here, and we've been walking all day. We hit 12,000 steps a long time ago. Yeah, and we just did a cool place. We will definitely come back and do a part two and possibly a part three, because not all the booths are open, and you just the two of us, we can't eat all that in one day. Yeah, yeah. And I'm already stuffed, so I don't think I could eat anymore. So we'll just sit and we'll take a load off and relax in the cool AC and celebrate their 15 years. Okay, we are here at La Cava. I, I have the original avocado. I finally found myself a mocktail that we are here to celebrate the 15 years of La Cava. Fifteen years La Cava. Cheers to La Cava. Very nice. My has a watermelon, lemon, lime, 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 l
Yeah, this is the original avocado. Very good, very light. Oh, it's so nice. So nice and cool in here. So this is the way to go. Very loud. But we're escaping the heat. It is very, very hot. It's a hot one out there, but uh, we're just grabbing a quick drink in here. We're going to show you the uh, new merch over in Connections. And then we'll talk about it. All right, we came across some food and wine, ladies' tucks. Oh, it seems like a tech texture. Yeah, it's very soft. So this is $35.99, a little food and wine 2024. But it's very soft material. And it's like sleeveless, pretty yeah. much. It's got little lady cuts on the sleeves. All right, see if there's a male version of this shirt. Got hats, long sleeve short sleeve. This one is $34.99. Yeah, I don't like that one. Yeah. Well, the back but, looks cool, but can't really... Yeah. Yourself, you don't see it. The long sleeve tee looks like that. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's right there. $45 for long sleeves. Look at these little things. So what do you hook that on? Hmm. That? On that, okay. <laughs> Cups, got cheese boards. Oh, the polo is cool. $50 polo though, but that's a, that's a tech style polo shirt yeah, right there. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Okay, that shirt's cool. I like that. Yep, $35. 35. And then they got a pass holder hat. Too the here. hat's nice. That's pretty that? cool. $30. 30. Oh, it's kind of got like the soft material, like the um, Castle and Mickey hats that yep, they not have bad. too. And then, of course, you have all your Halloween merch. We've kind of showed that at World of Disney. Here they are. They're called lug bags. Yeah, lug bags. Eighty-five dollars, and you could have and Remy. It's just a little bag. Yeah. So let us know if this is something you're interested <laughs> in. But it seems a bit much. How much? Eighty. Yeah. Well, luckily you could only get two at that price. So oh. Limit two. That's it. I don't know. What do you think? Does it speak to you? No. I don't I'm think just it saying, speaks like, it to doesn't... her because she has this right here. Hawkeye. And mine seems to hold more than that. So I, I don't know. Let us know what you think of the lug bag because yeah. that's a bit steep. Lug. Okay, they do have the Fignet Lounge Flies. These, I would guess, are 89. 88. 88. Oh, yeah. so close. So it's the new food and wine bag. I do like Fignet, but... I, to me, it seems like it would be too hard to get to the zipper pocket in the front. Oh yeah, zipper's like kind of hiding down there. Like on the other side. I do yeah. like Figment, but it doesn't really speak much to me. All right, we are hot, worn out. I think we walked three loops. Maybe? About three loops around three loops. the World Showcase. We got to try four booths, and then um, we did have a seat in La Cava to celebrate the 15 years to cool off. Yeah, that was nice and cool in there. Yeah, so I yeah. hope you enjoyed a little taste of opening day of food and wine. Let us know if you look forward to this festival and what your favorite item is you're looking forward to. Yep, but we'll probably do maybe t two more videos because there's more booths we want to try, like Greece and different things. Yeah, and more booths were open over time. So don't forget to give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and ring the bell. And yeah. See you on the next adventure. We will see you on the next adventure. Bye.